In this video, I will be making a fully functional shifter for a drift simulator. This is the third video in my DIY sim control series, so please don't forget to check out the video on how I made the steering wheel and also the pedals. That said, let's roll right into the build. To get started, I took a few measurements and then I jumped right into Fusion 360 and basically modeled the whole shifter in one go. So after working in Fusion 360 for about 45 minutes, this is the design that I came up with. The shifter is basically going to be a wooden box around the outside, which I'm going to make out of pieces of wood. This is all the mechanical things that are going to be inside the shifter. On top, over here, I have this plate that I'm going to 3D print, and this is going to be the path that this wooden dowel will pass through to give the shifting shape, or how, the sh or how you're going to move the knob on top to shift gears. I need this to be able to tilt on the bottom, so I'm going to make this mechanism right here. It consists of three pieces and it will be able to tilt forward and backward over here and over here. This is the general idea of how I think I'm going to make the shifter. I 3D printed the yellow parts and then I connected them together with two wooden dowels. Then I continued by cutting and assembling the wooden box. Okay, so I built the wooden box, which is the main frame for my stick shift. And on the top piece, I cut out a hole and then I attach this 3D printed part with the shape for the shifter. And it will be reverse here and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And in order for this stick, which I'm gonna use as stick shift, is gonna move back and forth. In order for it to like be held on the bottom somehow, I made this 3D printed part that moves around basically and you insert this in here and it moves around like this. And of course this is going to get nailed to the bottom piece. The reason why I haven't nailed it together is because I haven't inserted any electronics inside it and I need to be able to do that somehow. About the electronics, the way how I'm going to detect where the stick shift is, is by using these contact switches. You basically press on them and then it turns on and the Arduino Pro Micro detects that. And there will be seven of these in this thing all the way around inside underneath. And uh, it's a lot and I had to solder a lot of wires to these tips. So this is what I got. I also need to zip tie each switch to a 3D printed mount which then I will glue to the shifter. Here is all of them. Uh, there's only two wires coming off of them, not three, because when I press down on the switch, the current is able to flow from them, and then when I turn it off, the current doesn't flow. And I'm not really sure what the third one is for, but this is just the way how I made it. And I also 3D printed these angle pieces, and these angle pieces is what's going to hold the switch to this whole thing. Underneath on this plastic cap, these pieces go on like this. this. This plastic part is going to be hot glued to this part and uh, the switch is held to that. And then when this stick pushes against it, then it will turn it on and the game will know which gear to put the car in. I glued all the switches to the shifter and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would at first. Okay, so I just realized something on this thing that's not quite working. So originally I put the rubber bands here so that when I tilt the shifter stick, once I tilt it far, far enough, it starts pulling it down towards that direction so that it can engage the contact switches. But then I realized that in order for this effect to work, I need to raise this or lower the connection of the rubber bands. And so I'm gonna have to redo this a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this block of wood and I'm basically going to put it here and then screw this whole yellow thing on top of it. And that should technically solve the problem. 
After doing this small adjustment, it started working perfectly. I finally reached the point where it's time to wire everything up. I'm going to use the Arduino Pro Micro for the control board. All the wiring is pretty simple. One side of each switch is going to be wired to a common ground and the other side of the switch is going to be wired to a separate pin on the Arduino Pro Micro. I don't have seven grounds on my Arduino Pro Micro, so I'm going to need to wire an eight-way fork. After wiring everything and uploading the code, it was finally time to test the shifter for the first time. Okay, so I put the shifter over here. I couldn't figure out any better way to attach it than just duct taping it to this box and it works just fine. And uh, I plugged it in and I set it up in the game and I think we're ready to test it for the first time. Let's do it. Since this is the first time I drove manual, you can see that I'm not very good, but my skills did improve as I practiced. Even though it didn't feel like a real shifter, it still performed very well with my steering wheel and pedals, which I made in my two previous videos. By the way, if you have any driving slash drifting tips, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. Before this video ends, I'd like to tell you that I finally reached 100 subscribers. So big thanks to them and I'll see you in the next video.